All right, coming up next, our matchup for the UFC featherweight title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the featherweight championship between Bruce Lee and Sushil Kumar. I hope you guys can like it. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145 pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, presenting the challenger, Bad Intentions. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, and I'll fight. Him on Whoa! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground. 
around with this guy. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. It's such a fast leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Checks the leg kick. Yeah. Whiffs on that offering. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Dig and kick. That was a thudding leg kick. He blocked the shot. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Another beautiful takedown leg. I need you to move. Get out of there. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this face to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Big punch land. Ooh. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big power shot there. <laughs> Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the one that really did damage his opponent.
liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punch over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body kick. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big body kick lands. Back and forth we go! You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh! oh. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Some real power shots here. Is closing up now, not good for him. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Unable to connect there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more. Missing on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Uppercut is true. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage. in reach, and he made good use of it there. Down landing clean. And they separate. Good punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he's oh, he just hurt him, he just hurt him. Seconds remain in the round. Ten seconds on the clock. Seconds winding down in round two. And he landed the right hand there.
stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready? You ready? Come on. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Right up the elbow, the body can land. Circling towards the left now. Nice kick. Nice straight punch. How about that shin? Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully, really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fight. Nice punch lands over the top. He blocks the punch. Got clipped with the right hand. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big knee to the body! Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Big hard punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, no. oh! He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the featherweight championship between Bruce Lee and Sushil Kumar. Thank you guys for watching.
much of the path to UFC featherweight gold and glory still goes through this man. And after watching that knockout here tonight in defense of his title, it's hard to envision one of these current featherweights giving him a true run for his own. I mean, we have the most talented featherweight division in the entire world, and this man is ruling the top it like he is some king from the olden days. No one has come close to taking the belt away from him, and I don't know if there's anybody on the horizon that's going to be able to do it. Please, please, please.